is Mark Snyder's Blackout 33. Today I'm going to be going over a little makeshift, uh, it's kind of like the uh, gear pods that they have out. It's just some real sturdy canisters that I, that I found. They're made out of hard plastic, nice and solid. They don't, they don't crush in or anything like that. But basically all I did, I got two of them and I uh, liquid nailed the lids together. So you have the, the bottom that unscrew and also the top. So I'm going to go over some components that I uh, just threw together real quick to kind of show you what, uh, what you can put in here and uh, just maybe give you some ideas. So this is like a makeshift uh, little, little gear pod you can throw in a, <clears throat> a little sack carry around your waist, over your shoulder, whatever you want to do. So let's get started on it. First of all, we're going to undo this. This is more or less the uh, kind of the fire starting side of the, uh, the canister here. First of all, you got to have water. Purification tablets. You gotta have some type of water. Here I have a uh, it's an old dip can, the old old skull bandage dip can, and I have a can opener and the uh, the flint inside there. Also, you can use this for other things too. You could put you could put some kind of food here to eat out of as like a little jar. Uh, if you went fishing or something like that, you caught some worms, you can stick the worms in there, close it up to get where you're going, or carry anything else small that you might need inside this little uh, this can here. You gotta have some lint out of the dryer to start your fire, some matches, sport, lightweight plastic, have a candle. This brought uh, a cork here. You can use this for fishing and also if you find any bamboo <clears throat> sorry I kind of got a little cold but if you find your piece of bamboo make it where the little knots are on each end where it's, it's uh, solid on each end and if you drill a hole in it, I did a video on it before if you can get you a, uh, your pocket knife and drill a little hole in it you can actually fill that up with water stick this inside the hole so your water won't come out so you have your little uh, Another way to carry water, or also you, you can scoop it out, the uh, bamboo, put your water in it and put it over fire and actually boil it inside the bamboo. So cork's pretty good fishing and to uh, plug up any holes you have in your, your bamboo to keep your water in. Have a light, very lightweight little alcohol stove. It's made out of a, uh, looks like Diet Coke and a, and a Sprite can. I just cut it up, it has the little small holes around it, sit your pot on top or whatever you have. And there you go. Just a basic old pocket knife. Has two different style knives on it. Uh, it's like I got a little flat head and a regular uh, knife on it. Here I have some pine pitch that I've taken off the, the trees. When I see it, I try to I try to save it because it's pretty good. It's a good little little fire starter. You can also melt that down. If you needed to melt it in this, you could. Add some wood ash to it, stir it up real good, and you got yourself some uh, homemade glue if you need to uh, patch up a tent. Anything like that you might use. All right, on this side here, have a basic, just a, a carry sack. Carry uh, any kind of any kind of food if you go out hunting, set up traps. You can put squirrels or little small animals in this. If you find any kind of berries that are out in the woods that you can eat, you can also uh, use that. Have about 50 feet paracord here. It has the different strands in it you can pull out. You can make your uh, your fishing line. You can use this to set up a, a, a ridge line. Whatever you have, you can hang your clothes up with it anymore, your gear to keep it off the ground. It's always nice to have a little paracord handy. <clears throat> also have an extra uh, cord here. It's not actually paracord, it's some kind of cord. It's just got a different fashion on here so you can uh, create tension, loosen it up whenever you need it. So. Try to keep a few different things of, of cord here. You can actually set up snares or whatever you need with, with paracord and this kind of cordage here. This right here is a small water bag. It's still contained here, but you can unfold it and it carries about, God, what is it, a liter maybe of water. Just a little little old pouch that I've had for years. It's just uh, it's good to carry uh, something around like that. Have one little thing of drinking water here. Never know how long it's going to take before you find something, or if you find some fairly clean water, you can use your water purification tablets. You have this instead here to get you through. Here is a real small, 
compact emergency blanket. Not really sure how big it is. I've never opened this up. It's always good to have one of these. I can make a mini shelter with it just to get out of the rain, make a lean-to. Something like that. Just something quick that I can throw up to get out, get out of the weather. Here I have some tweezers. have a couple hooks in here. And I have um, a couple safety pins. Never know. These come in very handy for whatever you could use them for. Just some old zip ties, different sizes, different colors, different lengths. So always keep those, never know what you're going to use them for. Nisporn. You got to have a little thing in Nisporn for your minor cuts, abrasions, uh, briars, anything like that it can stick you. Use a little bit of Nisporn to keep the infection down. Have a uh, signal mirror here. It's always good to have. Got a little Velcro on it so I can put it inside my Max Expedition bags. I can stick it in there and it's ready at any time that I might need it. And for long term, just, this is just kind of an idea if you wanted to make something for more long term. <clears throat> I have some seeds here. This is for because it takes a long time. You got to plant. You got to you got to stay on it. You got to wait for it to grow. But if you're long term, at least you know you have some seeds. And if you don't want to use this to grow, you can throw it out. Maybe put it in a pile, sprinkle it around. Put it close to your snare. Maybe you can get a squirrel, rabbit, or some other kind of rodent or animal to come up and start feeding on these seeds, birds, stuff like that to get you some food. Guys, just a quick way to make you a uh, quick gear pod. They're, they're good and sturdy. The lids, like I said, I um, liquid nails, use liquid nails to hold them together. So they're back to back. It's easy to carry. They're lightweight. But guys, go out, mess around with it, try to come up with something that will suit your needs. Get out in the woods, pack it with what you like, and uh, enjoy it. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is actually get some the uh, the heat. It's in, it comes in a, in a little yellow. Uh, canister to put in here for the for the alcohol. It burns clean, but I will get a little um, a little tube of that, squirt some in there, and seal it up and carry it in here also to start my um, my little stove with. It's very lightweight. It's good to use. Check it out. I'm gonna do a YouTube video for too long on how to make one of these. It's fun and they do work and it boils water really quick. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some ideas on different things you can do, how to make the gear pod. <clears throat> Just kind of thrown out there for the long-term use, your cordage, your water, your pine pitch. Just basic stuff you can find out in the woods. But guys, this is Mark Sanders from Blackout 33. You don't have to be 100% ready tomorrow. Just be 100% ready today.